Dream Machines is an exhibition that brings together artists who are simultaneously artist, scientist, engineer and inventor. I'm Carrie Kibler and I'm the curator of Dream Machines at Hazelhurst Regional Gallery. When I was coming up with the idea for Dream Machines, James was one of the artists on the list. And I contacted him and said, look, I've got this crazy idea for an exhibition. I'd really love to show your painting mill. And it's basically a remote controller, a gaming console that creates paintings. There's a bike, there's a whole bunch of cordless drills, and they're all operated via a remote control you might have for a model aeroplane or a model car or something. And then it paints. For me, the interesting thing about James's work is that he's basically hacking and repurposing tools. I, I love this discussion of the robots are coming, or automation is upon us. How can we ever exist? The humans are going to be made obsolete. And humans adapt. We do. That's what we do. For Dream Machines, David Lowry and Jackie Middleton have made a new work called This Isn't Happening. It's a series of three automatons. It's looking at almost routine kind of things that we all do. We all search for something, we all uh, try and fix something that we've messed up. We all struggle at some point in our lives to, to, to sleep, to find peace. The viewer has to turn a crank. They're the ones who are forcing her to repeat again and again and again this task. They're implicated in this whole anxious cycle that, that is happening. The drawing mechanism is actually connected to a solar panel and there's no battery, so it's a direct drive. So when it's sunny, the motor will just work. I'm Cameron Robbins and I've developed the work Shadow Phase for the Hazelhurst exhibition and residency program. I got very interested in the mathematics of chaos theory. They would use the input of a natural system like the trickling of water or the way clouds move to create data visualisation. And I sort of thought, well, I'm going to make drawings where really all the information is in the drawings. And so if you study these, you can get the whole story. With all the artists working in the exhibition, it doesn't necessarily need to be true science or true engineering. It's about taking something and being really creative with it. For Dream Machines, Tricky Walsh has made a new work called Terahertz Transceiver. It includes a sculpture, technical drawings and an animation. I guess my main interest is about sort of old technology and machinery and theoretical machines. It has an antenna, so it brings a signal in and sends a signal out and then it's, um, it's tuned via coils. So basically it goes from the radio signal into sort of a higher, much higher frequency radio signal and then it's converted into a light wave or embedded into a light wave and then it's then put through an optical um, resonator which makes it a larger light wave and so then comes out a little screen. If you think it should work, you can kind of imagine how it should work, but if you take a closer look, it's theoretical. <laughs> because I have this sort of theory that when you break new ground, you should do it slowly with care, not just, you know, with your elbows and your knees. For Dream Machines, Wade Marinowski has developed Robot Operator. It's a series of autonomous, handmade, custom-built robots. I've just added in a new feature this morning which also detects whether the human is um, closed, have their eyes closed, left or right, if they're smiling. It's a darkened room and it's illuminated by the robots themselves and the robots are quite overbearing and taller than us so it becomes an intimidating experience. Um, there's a certain attraction and repulsion so it's like this compulsive beauty. It's an exhibition for everyone. Whether you're interested in art, you're interested in science, you're interested in technology, 
or you're a budding young inventor. All of the artists in Dream Machines make the works themselves. So this idea of hand built or the artist's hand in the work is really important. And often when we're thinking about new technologies and new ideas, we're not necessarily teaching kids or ourselves to get our hands dirty and actually start pulling things apart and seeing how things work, maybe about how we can rehack or repurpose them and make new inventions themselves. I hope that audience will come in and see Dream Machines and leave feeling really inspired. Um, I'd hope that they'd go home and look at the things around the house and go, well, what can I do with this?